planted 1908, uh, the old uh, the old Jonos, a bit over two acres of Sem, uh, about the same, it's a bit over two acres of uh, Shiraz. We ran a competition through the staff and one of the guys in the vineyard, Kevin Bristow, came up with Jonos, which is the eldest of my two sons. And uh, everybody looked and went, yep, that's what we've got to call. The, uh, the vineyard itself, really deep sand. It's not fine, it, it is still a little bit coarse. It produces about two tonne of the acre of, uh, of semion. Very sandy country, um, off the same creek that runs the short flat. Both Semillon and Shirah there planted in 1908, so another two of our sacred sites. We manipulate the uh, Shiraz uh, to pick uh, about a ton and a half. A ton and a half is as absolute max. We do do a lot of work down on the uh, on the Jono Shiraz. We'll prune to the next number of buds per year. Used to go into that one in the old days. Uh, fuller, richer, stronger wine. The difference in technique is that it goes through the basket press, so it's handled the same way as the Chardonnay. I think those sacred site wines have got, to, have got to speak to you of where they come from. And at that age, you'll get more intensity of that. They don't exist anywhere else but in Australia. So that's what makes them so special. I think is, is sure, they've got all their own character and stuff, but there's, a, there's 250 dozen of John O. Semillon and 250 dozen of John O. Chirard. And that's all there is. So that's really something that's quite special.